The following video is intended for mature audiences. It contains horror elements, adult themes, and language that might not be suitable for younger viewers. The psychological horror genre effectively examines the most disconcerting aspects of human nature, fear, self-perception, and the complexities of the mind. Two films that delve into these themes with remarkable depth are Brian De Palma's Sisters from 1972 and its 2006 remake by Douglas Buck. While they share a common storyline, each film offers a unique interpretation of this chilling narrative, creating a distinct experience for viewers. Both versions focus on the disturbing relationship between conjoined twins and the mental breakdown that occurs when violence intertwines with obsession. They explore insanity, manipulation, and the blurred lines between personal identity and external influences. As an ardent fan of both films, I recommend them to all psychological horror enthusiasts. Although I favor De Palma's original 1972 film due to its stylistic subtleties and echoes of Hitchcock, Buck's 2006 version introduces a modern, brutal twist that equally deserves recognition. De Palma's Sisters is a film rich in psychological suspense that captures the mood and style typical of its era. A known admirer of Alfred Hitchcock, Brian De Palma created Sisters as a tribute to Hitchcock while infusing it with his own fondness for violence and voyeurism. At its core, Sisters is a story about identity, deception, and the horrific aftermath of human obsession. The plot centers around Danielle, a French-Canadian model embroiled in a mysterious murder case. Grace Collier, an ambitious journalist who witnesses the crime from a building across the street, becomes obsessed with revealing the truth. Her pursuit leads her into an eerie web involving conjoined twins, psychological manipulation, and an evil plot that blurs sanity with madness. What distinguishes Sisters as an unnerving psychological thriller is its exploration of duality and identity. The concept of conjoined twins symbolizes a split sense of self, blurring the line between individual and other in unsettling ways. Danielle and her twin, Dominique, represent two parts of a single identity, split by trauma and manipulation. De Palma expertly uses this concept to create situations where viewers like the characters themselves struggle to differentiate reality from illusion. This fragmented identity is mirrored in Grace's investigation as her obsession with the truth drives her into increasingly dangerous circumstances. The film's voyeuristic techniques, using split screens and security camera-like angles, draw viewers into Grace's obsessive pursuit. It's as if we're also attempting to connect the scattered pieces of the story mirroring the characters' personal battles to comprehend their own sense of self. In Brian De Palma's Sisters, the director pays tribute to Alfred Hitchcock through suspenseful pacing, inventive split-screen techniques, and a sense of voyeuristic tension. We see this homage most clearly when Grace witnesses a murder, both an observer and participant in the unfolding horror. The film's cinematography is sharp and ahead of its time. By using split-screens, De Palma allows viewers to see two perspectives at once, those of the victim and observer, which creates double the narrative tension and reflects the film's focus on duality. The original film's success lies in its ability to keep audiences guessing between reality and illusion. The characters' mental breakdowns are subtly shown, making final revelations both terrifying and heart-wrenching. Fast forward over 30 years, Sisters was remade in 2006 by director Douglas Buck. Although it follows the same basic plot as its predecessor, it amplifies violence and gruesome imagery for a more graphic viewing experience than De Palma's version. Buck's adaptation takes a more direct approach toward showing psychological and physical horror. Stephen Ray stars as Dr. Philip Lacan, whose experiments on conjoined twins result in horrifying consequences. The remake delves into the twins' past, 
providing an unsettling look at their traumatic history. While staying true to the original plotline, this 2006 version pushes the boundaries of psychological horror for a darker narrative. Buck's remake focuses more directly on trauma and control than De Palma's original. Danielle and Dominique's separation is depicted through disturbing flashbacks that form the emotional heart of the film. Their relationship is marked by dependency and control. One twin exerts both physical and psychological power over the other. Unlike De Palma's version, which hinted at horror through suspense, Buck's adaptation lays it bare. The psychological tension is made more evident with explicit scenes showing violence and mental suffering from separation trauma and identity breakdown. The theme of duality continues, but is shown through a harsher lens where internal horror matches external manifestations. Grace's character in this version is tougher. Her determination to uncover the truth takes on a darker tone. Her search for justice seems more desperate as the film highlights the psychological cost of her investigation. In terms of style, the 2006 version of Sisters is a stark departure from its 1972 predecessor. Buck's take on the film swaps De Palma's polished suspense for a gritty, unflinching portrayal of violence. The movie moves at a faster pace and employs contemporary horror techniques like abrupt cuts and extreme close-ups to create an oppressive environment that traps its characters in a horrifying realm where the roles of prey and predator are constantly shifting. Unlike De Palma's more nuanced psychological approach, Buck delves deeper into his characters' minds, revealing their shattered mental states more directly. The use of flashbacks to depict the twins' childhood separation offers audiences an insightful understanding of the traumatic events driving the plot. The graphic violence in the 2006 version might unsettle some viewers. However, modern horror enthusiasts may find this brutal realism enhances the film's psychological themes. It isn't gratuitous gore. It underlines the trauma and total breakdown of character identities. Both versions of Sisters occupy unique positions within the horror genre due to their exploration of psychology and identity. The theme of conjoined twins a rare symbol representing duality and fragmented identity is utilized effectively in both films. Moreover, these films blur boundaries between victim and perpetrator, leaving audiences questioning who truly wields power, Danielle or Dominique. This ambiguity heightens psychological tension, making the horror even more unsettling. Both versions play with voyeurism, implicating us as spectators in the escalating terror. Whether through De Palma's split screens or Buck's intense close-ups, we're made active contributors to the narrative, increasing its psychological impact. When comparing the films, it is evident that they both have a similar plot, but provide unique viewing experiences. De Palma's version is a sleek and captivating psychological thriller with subtle echoes of Hitchcock that keep the audience on edge until the final scene. Buck's remake, on the other hand, is a more straightforward and brutal interpretation of the story. It delves into the trauma and violence that shaped its characters, offering a more tangible experience. While it may lack some of the original subtlety, it makes up for it with its deep psychological depth and stark portrayal of insanity and obsession. As someone who enjoyed both films, I would recommend them to any fan of psychological horror. Each version of Sisters provides unique insights into identity, trauma, and the blurred line between sanity and madness. Whether you prefer De Palma's stylistic elegance or Buck's raw intensity, both films are a must-watch for anyone interested in exploring humanity's darker corners. The 1972 version of Sisters is a psychological slasher, horror mystery thriller that is 1 hour and 33 minutes and is rated R. I liked this version the most of the two. The Southern Underworld gives it five bloody knives. The 2006 remake of Sisters is a crime horror mystery thriller that is one hour and 32 minutes long and is rated R. The Southern Underworld gives it four bloody knives. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. See you next time. Thank you for watching.